Shemot chapter 28 And you, bring near Aharon your brother and his sons with him, from among the children of Israel, for serving as priest to me, Aharon, Nadav, and Avihu, el and Ithamar, the sons of Aharon. And you shall make set-apart garments for Aharon your brother, for esteem and for comeliness. And you, speak to all the wise of heart, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, and they shall make the garments of Aharon, to set him apart, for him to serve as priest to me. And these are the garments which they make, a breastplate, a shoulder garment, a robe, an embroidered long shirt, a turban, and a girdle. And they shall make set-apart garments for Aharon your brother and his sons, for him to serve as priest to me. And they shall take the gold, and the blue, and the purple, and the scarlet material, and the fine linen, and shall make the shoulder garment of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet material, and fine woven linen, the work of a skilled workman. It is to have two shoulder pieces joined at its two edges, and so it is joined together. And the embroidered band of the shoulder garment which is on it, is of the same workmanship, made of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet material, and fine woven linen. And you shall take two shoham stones, and engrave on them the names of the sons of Israel six of their names on one stone, and the remaining six names on the other stone, according to their birth. With the work of an engraver in stone, like the engravings of a signet, engrave the two stones with the names of the sons of Israel, set them in settings of gold. And you shall put the two stones on the shoulder pieces of the shoulder garment as stones of remembrance for the sons of Israel, and Aharon shall bear their names before Yahweh on his two shoulders for a remembrance and you shall make settings of gold, and two chains of clean gold like braided cords, and fasten the braided chains to the settings. And you shall make a breastplate of right ruling, a work of a skilled workman, like the work of the shoulder garment. Make it of gold, of blue and purple and scarlet material, and fine woven linen. It is square, doubled, a span its length and a span its width. And you shall put settings of stones in it, four rows of stones, the first row is a ruby, a topaz, and an emerald, and the second row is a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond, and the third row is a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst, and the fourth row is a beryl, and a shoham, and a jasper. They are set in gold settings, and the stones are according to the names of the sons of Israel, twelve according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, each one with its own name for the twelve tribes. And you shall make braided chains of corded work for the breastplate at the end, of clean gold. And you shall make two rings of gold for the breastplate, and shall put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And you shall put the two cords of gold in the two rings which are on the ends of the breastplate. And the other two ends of the two cords you fasten to the two settings, and put them on the shoulder pieces of the shoulder garment in the front. And you shall make two rings of gold, and shall put them on the two ends of the breastplate, on the edge of it, which is on the inner side of the shoulder garment. And you shall make two rings of gold, and put them on the two shoulder pieces, underneath the shoulder garment, on the front of it, close to the seam above the embroidered band of the shoulder garment, and they bind the breastplate by means of its rings to the rings of the shoulder garment, using a blue cord, so that it is above the embroidered band of the shoulder garment, so that the breastplate does not come loose from the shoulder garment. And Aharon shall bear the names of the sons of Israel on the breastplate of right ruling, over his heart, when he goes into the set-apart place, for a remembrance before Yahweh, continually. And into the breastplate of right ruling, you shall put the Urim and the Tumim, and they shall be on the heart of Aharon, when he goes in before Yahweh. And Aharon shall bear the right ruling of the children of Israel on his heart, before Yahweh, continually. And you shall make the robe of the shoulder garment all of blue and the opening for his head shall be in the middle of it, a woven binding all around its opening, like the opening in a scaled armour, so that it does not tear. And on its hem you shall make pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet material all around its hem, and bells of gold between them all around, a golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate, on the hem of the robe all around, and it shall be upon Aharon to attend in and its sound shall be heard when he goes into the set-apart place before Yahweh, and when he comes out, so that he does not die. And you shall make a plate of clean gold, and engrave on it, like the engraving of a signet, set-apartness to Yahweh. And you shall put it on a blue cord, 
and it shall be on the turban. It is to be on the front of the turban. And it shall be on the forehead of Aharon, and Aharon shall bear the guilt of the set-apart gifts which the children of Israel set apart in all their set-apart gifts. And it shall always be on his forehead, for acceptance for them before Yahweh. And you shall weave the long shirt of fine linen, and shall make the turban of fine linen, and you shall make the girdle of woven work, and make long shirts for Aharon's sons, and you shall make girdles for them, and you shall make turbans for them, for esteem and comeliness. And you shall put them on Aharon your brother, and on his sons with him, and shall anoint them, and shall ordain them, and shall set them apart, and they shall serve as priests to me, and make linen trousers for them, to cover their nakedness, reaching from the waist to the thighs. And they shall be on Aharon and on his sons, when they come into the tent of appointment, or when they come near the slaughter-place to attend in the set-apart place, so that they do not bear crookedness and die, a law for ever to him and to his seed after him.